Now then. So, apologies for this video being over half a month late. Uh, I couldn't uh, export this video, no matter how hard I tried. Basically, every time I went to export it, it would fail or it would, you know, not work. But what this video is, is I'm taking this Canon L series lens 24 to 70 2.8 to, oh yeah, and a lens hood. I'm taking it to Edinburgh to take some photos, just out and about. That's basically what this video is. I'm showing you my entire you know, journey there, and I'm also going to be showing you some editing of some photos at the end of this video. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. I will be taking this GoPro Hero, the original Hero, with me to Edinburgh to record some street photography footage and I hope that you enjoy that because that video will be coming up at some point after this one. And also check out my Instagram, link is also in the description. Anyway, I leave you with myself. Now then, so we're in York, I'm all packed. Uh, got a lens hood because otherwise we'll be able to film this transition. But it's nowhere near as bright as I thought it'd be today. In fact, it's quite cold, I'm wearing jeans. Everything's all black because I'm an emo. But yeah, we're about to get on the train and, and commence the journey, I suppose. It's what, about two hours? Something like that. Either way, uh, I think you should be wearing a mask rather than just me. So uh, if you wouldn't mind, just... We're in, in the Berg of Edin. <laughs> Currently shooting on the 24 to 70 that we mentioned earlier. And I don't know if it's as wide as I like it to be for one of these intro segments, but we'll allow it. Already taken some pics and um, I guess later on in the video we'll edit some, uh, either from today or over the next three days. Oh, there you go. There's the GoPro with the chest mount that we're going to be using. I'm going to do a separate video entirely on some just uncut uh, street photography. So if you want to watch that, there'll be, oh, I can't remember which side it is, one, one of the sides has the little eye icon. Or if you want to see how I took some of the photos in this video, it'll be somewhere on the screen. <sighs> right, we've just got in. I'm going out and taking some photos. I'm gonna edit those now. I'll have it on screen. But what I'm gonna do is edit them on my iPad. So pulled up a few. I think it's just 10 of the many that we've taken today. And we're gonna to, gonna to give them you know a quick a quick edit. Right, so the first one is that right there. Little cute little trainer shot. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll bring up the shadows a lot so we can see more of the trousers. Bring down highlights a smidge. And then maybe bring up the whites and crush the blacks. No, nope, bring up the whites. Bring up the blacks, crush the whites. And then up the temperature, I want it to be, you know, fairly warm. Keeps everything like a nice, nice skin tone, nice, nice color to the brick stairs, all that kind of thing. Up the vibrance a bit, so I'd say. Add a little bit of texture so that the, the trousers pop, a bit of clarity. Gives, gives the shoes a nice look. Actually, in fact, maybe make it look a little, a little dreamier. And then, I'm gonna sharpen it up as well. 90 will do, take some noise reduction in there. That's a good start. And then what we'll do, we'll go back into color. We'll sort out this little aberration that you can see. So we'll go to the purple ones. We'll crush the purple, go to pink. We'll see if there's any pink. Any issues with doing that? No, we're good. And then that, to me, looks like a pretty decent little photo there. Or maybe add a slight vignette. It brings 
everything towards the shoe, then we'll crop it a little. Yes, that looks like a successful, ow, my hair's in my eye. That looks like a successful photo edit to me. I might have a look, quick look at the profiles. Oh, it's my favorites. So I can't really do anything for it. That's quite good. Uh, you know what, I like that. That's a good look. So this is the final photo. The second photo we're going to edit is this one of the, uh, I guess it's it's part of the architecture. I'm not much of an architectural photographer, personally, I don't really, it's not my kind of thing. I much prefer, uh, you know, standard street and urban, quite a lot of portraits, I'm a big fan of portraits, but when you're in Edinburgh, everything looks just photographable. You just have to. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous place, anywhere you look very interesting architecture. So this is one of some form of castle-y thing. First thing we're gonna do is straighten it up. We use the auto straighten feature, but that doesn't work. Obviously it's a bit of a cop out to be using profiles, but I really like using profiles on mine. It's like another form of using filters, I suppose. I do also have some presets installed from some of my favorite photographers that you guys probably are aware of. So someone like Pete McKinnon and uh, North Borders as well. Uh, I just really like their presets, I think. This edit, however, is fine how it is. So we're gonna export that one and on to the next photo. Right, this is the third image, a um, bit more street photography-esque this time. So this this masked man on the street, chilling, you know, must, must have finished work or something. It's almost like he knew he was on camera, he's like, you know, being all suave, all that. Let's, let's, let's give it a cheeky crop to start with. So there we go, that's another one done. All right, let's check the next image. Next up's this bagpipe bloke. I got another one, actually. I got another photo of this guy where he's looking straight down the lens, but I don't like that one as much as this one. This one was already a pretty strong starting point. another one done. Right, so here's the halfway image, number five. So some little ha hanging basket in a window in a shopping area, whatever it is. But it has these little like dangling lights that look like at the end of like tree branches, like some sort of fairy lights type thing. Created a really nice bokeh. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a polarizing filter for this lens yet. But when I get one, this image or images like this will look a lot better because um, they'll get rid of the glare on the window and make it look really nice. So we've got this little hanging plant basket thing. Looks quite interesting. So we're gonna, we're gonna have a fiddle just to give it some variety. It's not one of the better photos, but it, it, it adds, you know, a little bit of variety to the images I've chosen to edit for you guys right now. So immediately, we're gonna add some contrast in there. <laughs> I 
also, if you guys were ever wondering about editing on the go, get, if you've got an iPad, get Lightroom for your iPad. It is really, really good. It's really decent. Rather than having to take a laptop everywhere with you, you can just edit on here and you have all the same features. I'll also edit on my laptop if I'm doing like a, a professional uh, shoot for someone, like if it's a if it's a model shoot or something like that, or maybe if it's if it's like for a business or something like that, I'll I'll do it on my laptop because then I can I can send it in TIFF files, which is obviously a lot higher quality, a lot larger image size and all this. But for for something like this, for something that's only going to go on YouTube slash Instagram, it's fine on here. It's about nine megapixels on average, I'd say, in terms of fi like file size. So it might eventually fill up your iPad a lot or whatever, or whatever your device is but it keeps that quality image for when you put it online. Obviously Instagram, Facebook, all that will absolutely destroy the actual quality, especially if you put them in multiples. But if it's on a phone and you upload from an iPad, people actually seeing it, it won't be so bad. And I think we're just gonna whack that profile on it and then export that one. Here's another image. Right, so here's another image. This time it's of a native Scot still <laughs> walking throughout the city of Edinburgh. Uh, some guy that was raising money for leukemia, I believe, by dressing up and taking photos with like, you know, kids and stuff, which I think is very noble of him. Very impressive. Good on him. Seven years altogether, maybe maybe six years technically, maybe somewhere around there. But you won't have seen that because those all all those videos are privatized. So don't go looking for it because you're not going to find it. Well, that is a fantastic image in my opinion. I really like that one. That might be on my store. Link in the description. Also, you can buy something like this. Granted, it might not, this one isnn't on sale anymore. It's an XXX Tentacion shirt. It's uh, not been available for a long time because it got taken down for copyright reasons, but there are still similar works of art on there from me that I have designed and created that you may be interested in. If you are interested in buying some of that or some of this photography that you've seen on screen today, Go to my store, link in the description. It will help me make these videos for you using these different lenses, different equipment that you guys want to learn about or to see me use if that's what you're inclined. This is the next image of my beautiful girlfriend outside of, of Edinburgh Castle. There we go, that's the edit for this one. Nice little portrait, keeps it different. Right, well, this is disappointing. I tried filming these last three edits of these of these photos I took for you guys, and um, yeah, I, I, I don't know really what happened. I think either I ran out of space on the SD card, even though it said that I had three minutes left, or I didn't record them like I thought I pressed record but didn't record or I accidentally deleted it or something but yeah I d it doesn't seem to exist so instead have just a compilation type thing montage I suppose of these clips sorry about that but um hopefully you enjoyed it anyway Get out my bed if you've been unfaithful yeah. Pack all your things and bury our label yeah. Cause baby I won't take you back yeah, You know my heart don't work like that Take what I said, throw it like a baseball No, never had no trust issues 